All righty. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the roundtable with Jabril Cook and Kat Connor Sterling. Uh, reminder to reporters, just please keep your mics muted unless you're asking a question. And without further ado, Kathy, can you kick us off? Absolutely. Hi there. I can't say well. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Absolutely love the movie. And I wanted to know what is it from, what did you learn from your characters and what message would you like your audience goers to take away after watching the movie? Right. So um, as far as my character goes, Presley is, is she's quirky and she's, I guess, I guess what people call a little weird, but like, honestly, like what even is like normal, I guess. Um, but I, I love that there's this kind of whole theme with both Presley and I feel like George too is like, you know what? They're a little quirky and like, maybe like a little different, but like, they're still so loved and no one's trying to change them. Like there's no point where George is like, I wish Presley would just change a little bit. It was like, no, yeah. like, she's perfect the way she is and and Presley thinks George is perfect the way he is with his quirks and you know his love of Ferris Bueller and everything and so I wish I as as a young girl as a young quirky girl had that character to look up to and be like wow like you know what like she's kind of like me and she's quirky and maybe a little weird but like she's cool and like she's loved and um, I, I really hope young girls and young guys can, and not even just young, like at any age, kind of take that away from this movie. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, I think the, the only thing I'd add is like the, you know, the, it's, it's been a very isolating year. And I think the, the lesson that, we, that all the characters learn in the end is like, self-acceptance not only do like not only do you learn that like everyone else is like very down and supportive of who you are and want to be but like it's 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 about how you feel about yourself and how and this like this journey of like learning to love yourself and I think that that's kind of a journey that we've all collectively been on for the last year so I think that I think this is a good now that you know the pandemic is tailing off to a close I think that's a good like Hopefully that's a good tail end to, to this, this year that of, of isolation that we've had. It's perfect, thank you. Tane, uh, go ahead, it is your turn, thank you. Hi guys, I just wanted to say I love the movie. Um, even my six-year-old watched it with me, he loved it. Oh. I just <laughs> wanted to ask you guys, um neither of you are new to this so what was the most difficult part of stepping into these particular roles for you for me I think just, well just in general like um movie musicals like they're a lot of fun but they're a lot of work and um you kind of have a lot of things you have to juggle like acting singing dancing like making sure like the technical aspects like your your camera angles are right and um I just, um, I really, I think that, um, I don't know, I, another difficult part of it would probably be dancing for me. Like I'm not like the best dancer in the world, but um, I, our Greg from Elena was so helpful with that <laughs> and um, really just, just made it, made it fun. Yeah, I, I think for me, um... Yeah, this, this was my first feature, definitely not my first musical, but my first like feature film. So uh, I think a difficult thing for me, or at least a lesson that it took me probably like the, the whole process to learn was that there's a lot of hurry up and wait in this, uh, in this business. And uh, I, there, was, there was a time at the beginning when I, I, I was getting a little like, I don't know, like antsy, just like sitting around, like I, I'll be called, you know, we, we'd be called sometimes as early as like 5.30 in the morning. It's, it's, a, it's a 12 hour day, but then I wouldn't be called to set till like 2 p.m. And so I'm like, like not knowing like if I'm allowed to like take a nap, but you know, by the end I learned I could take a nap. <laughs> and uh, Corella, you can take the next one. Hi. So I just have to tell you, we, I have four kids and we all watched the movie and absolutely loved the movie. I appreciate the oh, message yay. and that it was clean and the music and it was spiritual. All my kids commented on that and they're like, we love this movie. And so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, 
was there anything you had to learn or that you hadn't done before? I know there's a lot of like sports and paintball and all that kind of stuff in there. Is that, was that new experiences for you guys or is there anything in there that you had to learn for the movie that you hadn't done before? I'm trying to think. I mean, a lot of them, like I, I've been to camp before and I also like, I grew up with a pretty like normal, like non-actor childhood. And so I had done like, like, you know, occasional like soccer and stuff. I will say like the flag football, like <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> like that's not like, not my area of expertise. You and so like, ball, like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause I had people telling me just to throw it. It's like, <laughs> cool. And so they were like, uh, our producers were like, you know, yelling at me like, cat, you gotta run like you're gonna catch it. Cause like, <laughs> I'd just be running around in circles, having no idea how to, how to make it work. But um, I guess that's something new I learned, but I really still couldn't tell you the rules of flag football. <laughs> <laughs> who, who could, honestly? We um, don't know. I, yeah, I think for me, it wasn't so much learning a new skill. Cause like I said, I've been, I've been doing musicals uh, for, you know, most of my life. I think it was, kind of like taking the skills that I had or like uh like something things that I've had like limited experience with and like taking them to the next level I think like Kat mentioned the the, the choreography um Melina Runis was our uh was our choreographer and she just like whipped us into shape like I wouldn't have called myself a dancer before the movie and now I feel like especially with Melina's help I could I could do anything I could crush the choreography that's awesome thank you so much thank you Thank you. And Amanda, you can take the next one. Hi guys, I'm Amanda from Guide for Moms and Crazy Amanda Reacts on YouTube. And I was just wondering, it looked like y'all were having a blast, like on set, all the teens and party, it looked like it was just a blast. So yeah. I wanted to know a little about, you know, how it was oh. on set, maybe, you know, uh, some fun facts about it. I mean, it, it really was like it truly like was a blast. Um, we filmed at a, a real camp, like that was like real real kids go to that camp, and so it felt like we were at summer camp with all our friends, like the dancers, the crew, the cast. Like it was it was great. Like except you know at the end of the day, we got to go to a hotel and we didn't have to sleep with the bugs, which was you know the <laughs> best part to me. Um, I mean, it was, we really did have a lot of fun. I, like one kind of, I guess, behind the scenes memory I have is the boys love to play video games in their trailers. <laughs> <laughs> and like me and Bailey, like yeah. we would never be, I guess, you know, technically invited to the boys game, game nights. And so we'd have an overnight shoot. So finally me and Bailey had had enough and we broke in mm -hmm. and forced them to let us play Mario Kart with them. And so I had a good time. Did and I think they were no I did not <laughs> well yeah I think they, were threatened. In, they were threatened by my skills break in is a uh, is a little uh, of a stretch uh, the door was <laughs> always unlocked um, right right and, right but... well and Ian and I were sharing a trailer um and I think and just for the record Kevin wasn't invited either he, he always <laughs> he always made his way and like you know happy to have anybody uh yeah, we, we played a lot, we played a lot of Super Smash Bros. But then when the girls joined us, they would rather play Mario Kart, which I'm also down for. We played that. Uh, yeah, that, that was a great time. I think um, behind the scenes memory for me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. There was just so many like great little moments in, in rehearsal. Like we're, we're all together. The one thing that's standing out in my head was there was one like stretch of rehearsal where we had to go to a like a dance studio to rehearse um because the the camp was great and like we put up mirror like mirror panels there but for some things we just needed like you know a, a proper like wall of mirrors and, and the space to really like spread out and all that um and yeah just that that time at millennium dance studio was was so good we we were the, it was like a weekend and we were there truly all day and it was, and it was just like us, like knocking out the dances, like really like nailing them down so that we could be ready to film. And that was like, um, yeah, I think the common theme here is that I was very impressed with my own dancing. <laughs> no, and everybody, <laughs> Mel Melina really brought us to like the next level. Well, we were too. We all were too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right. And uh, Rachel, you can take the next one. 
Hi, I'm Rachel from Pretty and Baby Food, and I uh, wanted to know what favorite dance routine or song was both of your favorites? It's hard to choose because, like, the soundtrack is pretty good. A little biased, but I think the soundtrack is really good. <laughs> um, I love, like, honestly, from the beginning, I've always, I've loved the song Dive. Um I love that. Uh, of course, I love Good Enough because um, just the, the message of that is, is just so beautiful, I think. But as far as like one that stuck in my head, it's hard. To, I have like a million. But the ones that are always stuck in my head are Dive and uh, Best Thing Ever are two that are just constantly playing. <laughs> yeah, I think Dive was definitely the, my, my favorite dance number um, just because like we were in the water and just that day of filming uh like there were hundreds of people on set like just and we're just like having fun like playing in the lake like splashing each other and having having a great time and so that was definitely my favorite dance number honestly my favorite scene to film um but yeah uh I too am biased and my favorite song in the film is definitely baby baby like yes. even if I wasn't singing it like just the like Prince influence is like enough to make was enough to make it my favorite song and that was that was the thing that uh, early on the that Roman and I and the, the whole team were, uh, we like kind of made that connection really early on um, reading the script and we're like, yeah, and we ran with it. We, we, we really leaned into the, the Prince influence and I, I had a blast. Awesome. Thank you. You guys nailed everything. It was all wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Carolina, you can take the next one. Hello, we love the movie. I'm Carolina from What C Says. Um, my question is, I know we had mentioned like the all the sports and paintballing and stuff and that scene was like super incredible. How much of that scene did you were you guys actually a part of or was it like a stunt double or, or anything like that? I think we, um, so for dodgeball, I did have uh, someone else take the actual hit for me. <laughs> um, but then like you see a close-up of my face and that's actually a uh, fun fact that's a leaf blower blowing on my face to make it move to make it look like the balls there and I believe they digitally put in that ball close up um which I thought was really cool but like having that leaf blower in my face like it was there for like a solid five ten minutes of them just getting takes of me <laughs> constantly doing this um so there's that and then for the paintball scene I felt so bad I did have a stunt double who when Presley saving um, George, kind of how he saved her, she took that hit. She really did take a paintball hit. And so she had like bruises on her back from it. Oh and gosh. I felt so <laughs> bad, but she did her job well. <laughs> yeah, the, the paintball scene was definitely like outside of our uh, pay grade purview. I don't know, like most of the- Skill. Mo most of the, yeah, all, all of the above, honestly. Uh, the, <laughs> Yeah, the, the stunt doubles really like took over for us and gratefully so. I, I, I'm very grateful for it. I, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, that was one of those days where hurry up and wait was like prevalent because I was just hanging around playing video games while my stunt double got shot at. So I'm oh like, my gosh. bless you. Jonathan Mercedes, he, he's, a, he's a real one. That's awesome. It looked awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Christina, you can take the next one. Hi, I'm Christina with thepatricias.com. And what made you want to be a part of this film? For me, um, I grew up watching High School Musical and Camp Rock. I'm a big movie musical fan. And like, that was such a huge part of my childhood. And so like, I saw that like, there's a new movie musical coming out. It's from the same um, Adam Watts who like did the music for Camp Rock and Hannah Montana in High School Musical. I was like, I've got to be a part of it. And so then I saw there was a role for a girl named Presley and it was like, I think in her character description, it was like, she loves pugs and like, she's giggly and in love with George. And I was like, you know what? I think I might could pull this off. And so uh, I guess I did. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, that you did. Uh, yeah, I, I also saw a lot of similarities in myself and George. Um, I mean, aside from the fact that it's a movie musical, I'm like, who, who doesn't love movie musicals? Uh, I also grew up in a, uh, in a musical theater background. And so it, it felt very like appropriate that uh, 
my first feature could potentially be a musical. So I was like very, very into that. I always feel uh, at home, like singing in a project. Uh, but, and yeah, and then on top of that, like the character of George, like was, a kin he, George and I are kindred spirits for sure. Like he, his, his love of like 80s movies, uh, I, I, I'm right there with him. Uh, and I, I think, and, and during the, the, once I found out that I booked, I had this whole like 80s movie watch list that I, uh, I, I had seen the, the John Hughes movies, but you know, I needed a, a refresher just so I could hang with George. All right, everyone. Uh, that Thank is all you. the time we have. Thank you so much to all the journalists there. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. Let's cut. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.